podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check, check, check it. This is a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, no, no. You know my dad will go on. But I want y'all to stop, stop, stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I know you love the content. If you're seeing this, I know you're loving our content. So go ahead and share us, support us, do all of that. But if you want to see our full-length interviews, that's our YouTube membership, and that's our Patreon channel for a small membership fee. Just go ahead and subscribe. You see it before everybody else. Thank you in advance. Man, hey, man, guys. Here we go again, man. This guy right here. Um... If you've been watching what's going on on the internet, hmm. this guy right here, man, been, hey, man, doing things that others have not been doing. Hmm. I watch this show myself because I actually do a lot of the editing and everything else, and I'm watching what's going on around the show. This guy right here, man, he's been on the show, but he's been continuously grinding, man. I've heard Greg Street. I've seen Snoop Dogg. I've seen Sway. In the more, I've seen Famous Animal TV, and I can, and the list go on. This guy has impacted so many different people when he left here, man. That guy, my guy, family, show is in the building. Hey, man. Yeah, I'm on Boss Talk one. <laughs> <laughs> man, thank on? you. It's been, it's been a minute, man. Thank you for coming it back. It ain't been out. that long. It's been, been a while. Long. It was December when you came up. I, uh, well, I'm talking about for my personal interviews, October. October. Oh, it was October. I came on with Faison. In December. I came I came back with uh, Sly Fly, but mm -hmm. as far as me personally, I think it was like uh, October. October. So it's been a okay, minute. Okay, okay. It's been a minute. And everything been going so quick for you. Like, you see, when God bless you, God has blessed you. That's a fact. I mean, you know, God's timing is always the right time, the perfect timing. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, um, I wouldn't necessarily say fast. It seems fast to the outside world. It did. <clears throat> you it know? does. And, and faster than than most, but they don't. that's to somebody that don't know the backstory of what I done before Big Homie Show. Yeah. You got to go watch the other Boss Talk 101 mm -hmm. to interview to understand. Mm -hmm. We already talked about the past, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, to somebody who looking at Big Homie Show, I can see why they would see or think that it happened fast. But nah, it's a lot of years and a lot of tears in this shit. Because how many people ask you mm -hmm. that question? Because it's like... All of a sudden, you started rapping. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, you know, people who start rapping, it takes them years to be on Sway. Mm -hmm. It takes them years to be on the shows that you already been on. Well, again, that's, that's, that's to somebody that has not yet looked up the history of right. Big Homie Show. Has anybody asked you? Uh, How? Of course. I mean, <laughs> you know, because everybody, you know, they see what's going on and they like, you know, oh man, what is going? You know, what would it take to get, you know, my campaign moving the way you know yours, yours is, is, or you know, and I don't mind helping where I can. I'm very upfront. Like, yeah. if you ask me uh, for a contact or something that I can help you with, I say, you know, I'm gonna reach out to them and, and, and see what I can, you know, what what they say. Mm -hmm. And some of these things are just, you know, it's not a pick up the phone situation. It's just grinding and timing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, it's sort of like, you know, the same thing that goes on here. I mean, it's, it's grinding and timing. You can't that, just pick up the phone and say, hey, I'm finna go get a boss talk interview without putting, in, without putting in no no type of grind because you ain't true. got nothing to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So, so how did you feel? How did I feel? Yeah, to see all of this just coming back to back because I know you probably got that call to be on this show first. Mm. Then the next call, just to see it coming like the way how it came. Man, um... I don't get nervous. I be um, I be anxious. So it's almost like it's almost like surreal in a sense because I be so ready to do it. You know what I mean? Like if I know I got something big coming up, I be ready to show that I deserve to be in the room at least. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you got this big bit. It's almost like a high. You got this big build up, and then it happens. And then I'm chasing the next high. You know what I mean? I, I want to go back, though. I don't want to go too fast. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to talk about famous 
Animal TV. Shout out to my guy. Right. He been on the show since you since you did that. Right. And uh, uh, how was it going down there, man? He he has a, a, a thriving show that a lot of people. Uh, would love to be on you. You actually went to Memphis, right? right? A lot of times he don't be in studio. We found that out. Sometimes he'll be out here or wherever if he's traveling. How was it to go down there? And what was that like? Man, first of all, understand that that was by choice. The man had just left Dallas the day before. Oh, I didn't want to do it in Dallas. I wanted the feeling of being in Memphis in your studio in the city. You know what I'm saying? Where where you created this? Wow. For memorabilia, you know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to go, you know, what you know, go by what Dolph, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to I wanted to be in the city, you know what I'm saying? And that feeling kinda pushed me. I'm a real, you know what I'm saying, like I guess you could say like passion person. So being in the city, you know what I'm saying, with the you know, with the Dolphs and the Goddess and the three six, just when I came across the bridge, it was just you know, I was filled with a passion that just kind of pushed me. So when I got there, I was like, yeah, I'm going to be, one day I'm going to be, my name going to be like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And I didn't want to, I just felt like it took, a, it would take away from it to do it in Dallas. I wanted to do it. Wait, I want to come to yo. you know what I'm saying? I want to come where you at and do it. That not, create a, not create a, a famous animal look. I want to come to the birthplace of famous animal and do it. Man. And, and, and put my name in the concrete. You know what I'm saying? Was it so, everything that you thought it was going to be? Um, The result was, I knew I was going to smash. I was I was ready. I was prepared. I told, I mean, I, told, I said, I wrapped, I mean, in the parking lot, I, I let Lucha. Shout out Lucha. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Miss Lucha. I, um, you know, I, I, I do care about people's opinion. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, Luke, what you think? People that I value, their opinion and respect, you know, they legendary status and what they done done. You know, I want to see what you think about it. So when he gave me the nod, I was like, yeah, I'm finna tear that ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but when you, you know when you think about what you just said, going the extra mile is so important in what we do. Um, the way you approach the situation, presentation and all that means so much. Right. And for you to say, I'm going down here and feel that energy. I'm going down here and pass by over the bridge. He said he went through West Memphis. He, mm -hmm. And then he goes in the, he goes down there, man. And uh, man, you know, kill it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I just thought that was live to see your, your, your build up when you was telling me you was going and do it. I was just so proud to be able to see that moment. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So yeah. that was huge for me. So man, thank you for giving us that man. And, and, and shout out, I like again, famous animal TV for having you on. You gave show. me, you gave me the platform that got me started. Wow. That's big. I mean, but, this was the, this was literally, Boss Talk was the resurgence of Big Homie Show. Wow. The first thing that I did was here. Man, that's God. That's a, fact. That's a blessing. You know that's what I'm God. saying? So, you know, it's, it's, it was only right. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. You know, we, we keep it going. Man, it's Same crazy. Way we started. It's crazy because last time you was on here, man, I ain't going to lie. I think my still my freestyle camera <laughs> angles, all mine with the hardest. I don't, you know, that ain't my just normal show, but you made that thing pop, man, the way you was man, rhyming. Man. And then I had the big homie uh, face on over here with you. Right. I think I killed the freestyle game right, with all them right, boys right. just because of the way I had it. And, and you know, the fact that I, you know, the fact that I had, you know, bro here with me. That was that big. meant a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, man, you know, I ain't going to lie, man, the cosign don't hurt. So, you know, especially when you got the right ones. You know yeah. what I mean? When you got the right people, because, you know, bro don't just fuck with everybody. Not everybody. You know what I'm saying? And most of the people, that, actually, most of the people that, you know, uh, I would consider to be in my circle, they don't just they don't just fuck with no everybody. They ain't finna put they, you know what I'm saying, put their arm on nobody's mm -hmm. shoulder that they ain't, that don't feel like is official. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... Man, you know, I think I that's live, it. man. Just the way that everything just, like I said, come full circle, man. The universe definitely knows what it's doing, man. And just to see how God bless you, man, and, and, and you just rocking out here, rocking out there. And, and it's crazy to me because after that, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, you know, what's next? Because you was like, you're going to see, man. I got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> you, you, We'll talk on the phone and show me like, mm -hmm. I got a lot of stuff and going on, gonna man. And he tell you. I, no, he, he got to give me a little bit. <laughs> but, but He said, that's watch. He's the type of person that prefer for you to see than for him to say it. Yeah. Because yeah. I know in this game, you got a lot of bullshitters. And they'll tell you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have the moon tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And then... They'll try to take your mind off of that, the fact that they told you that. 
You know what I'm saying? So I just rather wait till I actually got the moon with me and be like, nigga, <laughs> he go to the moon like the fuck I said. You know what I'm saying? So I try to just, you know, just let let the actions do the speaking. You did you, you know go down to Atlanta also? Uh, you ain't been back to, down there. I, I haven't been back yet. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I, that's, I, that's I can't wait when you go back down there because I that's see, coming. I see already. I see Greg Street. He's rocking with your music. How the heck did he link with your music? How did he even, you know, find out? Because Greg Street got his ears to the streets, yeah, man. Him, hey, here we go again. We talk. We speaking on somebody that's just not gonna do that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But uh, man, that's that that's my that's my partner. You know wow. what I'm saying? That's C Dog doing that. Wow. You know, C Dog and him are like best friends. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He call him his guy brother. A street call, you know, uh, C Dog is guy, brother. And, you know, C Dog, like, man, I got this cat, man. This nigga is for real. You know what I'm saying? And of course, I it gives me confidence because I know they get approached by somebody saying that every day. You dig yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Every day, somebody comes in and say, man, this, this, this nigga, the shit. You need to check. You need, and it's like, I mean, everybody ain't the shit. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine you, Greg Street, you been in the business 30 years, and seven it's seven days in a week, five days out the week, somebody tell you this nigga the shit 30 mm -hmm. years. At some point, you ain't even looking because you're like, man, I done heard it all, seen it all. Ain't nothing special about this nigga than the other thousands of niggas that done came and said that they was the shit. So when you get the attention and the ear of somebody who you know, has seen that type of talent over and over and over, and they be like, nah, it is something about him. Yeah. That's special and different. Again, that's that cosign, you know what I'm saying, that adds to me saying, okay, I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm on it. Because, you know, without without the right people saying you the shit, you ain't shit. <laughs> I, just, I remember when Greg Street was in Dallas, man, and he was killing it here. You know, we got a lot of love for Greg Street. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Greg Street is a pioneer when it comes to the music. Uh, when it comes to give introducing us to what's what's next, he he's he ushers in that next sound, right. that next wave of music. And so, being a, a, a person who loved music, I always was 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 I always tuned in to Greg Street when he was in Dallas. Man, always. Man, I had no I had no music when I came and did the the first interview here. That's the crazy thing. I had one record. That's it. That wow. was a it was a complete rebirth. I didn't have no music when we did that interview. When you said no music, because you meant no music out as or big, you meant no music written? As Big Homie Show. I had no music when we did that interview. Not even written or nothing. I didn't have no music. Mm. Nothing. Everything that that interview was the birth of Big Homie Show. I didn't have no music, nothing. Yeah, because what I was thinking about the whole time we're talking right now, and I know what song I love right now, and mm -hmm. everybody love that song. Mm -hmm. Let's not go that fast, though. We, I we, know. We, let's build it up, but I know what you're talking about. Okay, hold on. <laughs> but when you did your performance at the improv, mm -hmm. I'll just, just say this. I was mad that it wasn't that song you did. I didn't feel like it was the right crowd. Um... Okay, so we are gonna go there. Um, but so after the famous animal, then um, Street co signed it, and then Faison was like, uh, "No, once Street co signed it, and they saw the famous animal, then they was like, they he listen, he started listening to me rap like I would rap, just freestyle, just or rapping, just, just rapping, just rapping." Just rapping. Just, now, now I'm working now because I'm, mm. I'm going in the studio. So C Dog sending the music. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm, I'm angry because I feel like you know I'm. It's taking me so long. It's, it, it has taken me so long to be heard and seen that I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of angry when I'm doing this shit because I got a chip on my shoulder because I can't believe that y'all really, you know what I'm saying? Really kind of overlooked me all these years. So I'm rapping different than I was, and uh, and then C Dog hit. Put in the play and was like, let's let's go to Sway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's let's. I wow. think I think it's time. And it was like, fuck it, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Like it was it was really like that. You know. And in the process of that, uh, I was in the studio making records, and that's when I'm, I create. I, I call bro. I say 
I got the song that's gonna change my life. You I knew, knew it. it. I knew it. So you wrote that song like a long time ago? Mm -mm. Like when mm -mm. did you write Okay, right before you called him and told him that, how long before that did you write that I song? I just wrote it. The night the night before. The night before. I went on I went on real life street stores. Mm-hmm. And they were interviewing a little scrappy. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing I remember you on that. that picture. I was supposed to. I was supposed to go on at a certain time, and they was backed up. Right. So I had the beat, and um, t I was looking for beats to do a, a song for Real Life Street Stars. Mm -hmm. I came across the beat, and when I heard the beat, I was like, "This motherfucker hard." It's like, nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? So I hit the dude up, get the beat. I'm going down the highway. You know what I'm saying? And I'm coming up with it. The, the crazy thing is the hook was initially, the, the initial hook was I'm getting money. That's a fact, though. So you in front, the feds coming, I'm out the back, though. Now, for real. That was the hook at first. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you had to change it. I just was like, it's not catchy enough. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm getting money. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nah, mm -hmm. for real. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, if you get money, you better keep it on you. Mm -hmm. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I started creating a hook like that. And after I came up with, you know what I'm saying? I just got a new roller. I'm feeling this how I'm feeling. Like, every, this is how I'm feeling. And then after I got the hook, I was like, damn. I was like, shit, I'm going to use this as the, you know what I'm saying? So the hook is the first thing that people normally do. Right. So after that, I come up with the hook. I mean, the first verse, first. instead of using that, I'm getting money. That's a fact, though. So you in front, the feds coming. I'm out the back, though. Oh, so you switched it nah, and put real. that. I, I put what was, I put what was gonna, gonna be, be the, the hook. To the first verse. To the first, to first verse. verse, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. boom, I record it. And while they interviewing Scrappy, they not ready for me. So I go upstairs, I record. Oh, there's a studio in there, too? Yeah, upstairs. Okay. So I go, I record the hook and the verse. And I bring it downstairs and I play it for the, you know Rook and everybody at Real Life Street Stars. They go crazy. They dancing. And I didn't, all I had was one verse. You know what I'm saying? But after I seen the reaction, I was like, That's it. I told you. I told bro, I said, I said, I told you. I knew it. I left there and went and did, wrote another verse. I ain't even go to sleep. I you wrote fired up, verse. of course, because yeah, you fired I wrote up. Another verse. Boom. I went back to the studio the next day. Came back to that same studio the next day after I recorded the first verse, laid it down. So I had an interview in Oklahoma City. Shout out to Lando Booming, Terry Mundy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, One Eye, everybody up there. So Shout I go out. up there, Kevin Perry for sure, for sure. So I go up there, do the interview. I drop Nah For Real. He was the very first pers person to play Nah For Real mm -hmm. on the air. It was in Oklahoma City, Lando Booming. It wasn't even out yet. It wasn't even on streaming service or nothing. I just played it for him. Just like I did in real life. And mm -hmm. they like, oh, this, man, let me play this, dog. And I'm like, what you think, bro? He's like, yeah, go ahead. Let me play it. Boom, play that. I'm like, man, I'm finna go to Sway. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna kill him on Sway. You know what I'm saying? So I take it. By the time we go to Sway, we get it ready for streaming and all that. And we actually presented the record on Sway. That's That was when it came out. Mm -hmm. The record was made before we went on Sway, but it actually came out, dropped when we was in New York for the, for uh, for Sway. Wow. And when he heard it, it was he was like, Shh, "This this this record, man, you got a record, you really got a record." And I was like, "I knew it, I just knew." So that means that when we did that thing, um, that was December New Year's Eve. You didn't, have that, song. You didn't have, have that song at that time, it. so that's why I had wanted. other records, but it wasn't the crowd for that. Mm -hmm. But shout out to Faison because. To my understanding, I don't know if this is true or not, but to my understanding, there's never been a hip hop show at the Improv, mm. and he did that for me. You're the first one to I'm do the that. first person Love ever that. to do a hip hop performance at the Improv, at the improv. and I'm the first. At least per here. I'm the first person <laughs> ever to record <laughs> right in the front. <laughs> Damn everybody else who doing the show. I'm though. right in front of my homie. Mm -hmm. Record, nigga. This nigga, the one, he better blow up on you niggas. Y'all better get up close. Y'all y'all playing. That's a fact. I enjoy the hell out of and, it, man. And even, but you know that night, those records that came out that night were the first records that were put out as me as Big Homie Show. Really? New Year's Eve. But you know what I love about it, not for real? Just like what you said a while ago that... 
that wouldn't have been the the crowd for it. But I see Not For Real can play at any crowd. Now, I see it now. Because you, know, you didn't think that before? I, I wouldn't have thought that that night, even though I hadn't made it yet. I wouldn't have thought that because I was thinking more so. Just because of the hook. I was thinking more so grown and sexy. That's why I did the records that I did. Most right. most of the time, if you think about comedy shows, you're thinking about couples and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I wanted to do something that kind of, I was suited up. I wanted to do something that kind of suited the occasion. No, in today's you know society, to me, it's that catchy because with that hook, that catch, everybody want to dance, everybody want to turn up. Like, I don't always hear the words of the song right away. I mm -hmm. listen to the beat first. Mm -hmm. But with a hook as catchy as how yours is, you can't help but to hear that hook. Yeah, but even, even if he did it that night and then started with that other song and then came in with that now for real in that suit, that would have been crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Hey man, but you know, it wasn't one, even made yet. Yeah. One thing about it though, like I just said, you know, hey man, yeah. everything happens God in time, time. man. Right, yeah. right on time. Let's go back to Sway for a minute, man, because uh, when you went up to Sway, I know me and you talked a, uh, a little bit about it. Just give us some details on what happened in the studio. Oh man, um, I had never been to New York before. Wow, that was your first time. Was my first time in New York. How'd you like it? Man, I was blown away, but at the same time, I walk I, I walked through Times Square and I seen um It wasn't cold at that time. Mm -mm, it wasn't cold. And I just seen I seen Puff on every bill. I mean, I'm in Times every Square screen. and he's on every screen. Mm -hmm. Every screen. Every screen. Back after back. He's just popping up larger than life. And I'm like, damn. One day he was just dreaming this shit just like me. Of course. And so C I was like, what you wanna do? I was like, I wanna go to the room. I'm I'm up all night. I'm ready, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to I'm ready to perform. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm ready for them to cut the cameras and the mics on, man. Cause <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta, first of all, I got I got a lot to prove to people who done invested their time into me. Yeah. You don't just make no call like that and then, you know, you got a lot riding on that. Yeah. And you live. Yeah. You go up there. On this man's word, and he say you ready, and you stumble and fumble. You just fucked up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Alone. His word. Yeah. You fucked up his word because he say you ready. For he sure. say you can perform under the pressure, mm -hmm. under the lights, under the cameras. He 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 liked that. And you go up there and fuck up. Wow. See, it make it harder when people think the cosigns make it easier. The cosigns make it harder because if you've been doing this shit for 15, 20 years, you supposed to be you supposed to be able to tell. When he a bullshitter. Yeah. He ain't really got the spirit. He ain't really got the guts. He ain't really got the heart. He ain't got the fight. That's real. So if a man say you got it and you go up there and you ain't got it, you just fucked up his reputation. That's you right. fucked up his cosign. So now they got to question whether or not if he brings your somebody. judgment, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I agree with that. That judgment. That's hard. So the cosigns make it harder, bro. But I'm built for this shit. You can cosign this shit all day. I ain't bullshitting. You can stamp this shit. So I was ready. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm I'm looking at Puff like shit, nigga. One day I'm gonna get my That's shot to be, be up you. there. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. And I'm ready to go in the room so I can keep rapping this motherfucker over and over. So when they cut these motherfucking cameras on, I'm finna show them why I got on this plane to come yeah. up here. Yeah. I ain't playing. Wow. And you always had, he had that whole that you always had that same that persona. same tenacity, mm -hmm. the same persona. I like it, man. man. I ain't playing. I know these cameras and these microphones and these lights are changing life, bro. It's mm -hmm. serious. You know serious, what I'm saying? If you know what to do with it, this shit'll change. You can handle life. it if you know what to do with it. You know God'll bless it. I got a question. So, um, do you feel pressure whereas because I've asked a couple females this before, but I don't remember ever asking a male this. But whereas the rap game and the industry, do you feel like you have a ticking clock as in like with time? Because, you know, you're not 21 no more. Right, right. Do you feel that way? I know females are different in the game compared to men where that is concerned. Um, it, it depends. Uh, I think for some people. I'm talking for you. I'm talking, oh, for about, me, no. I'm talking for you. No, not for me. Okay. Not for me. Why? I make good music, for one. Uh, I'm a hell of an entertainer, for two. I'm a people person, you know, for, for three. I'm fly as a motherfucker, for 
Forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's real talk. That's so, what you got. I mean, you got to feel about yourself. And you've always been. You've always been that overly confident person. Every single time when I've asked you, or just like when he asked you earlier, are you, were you nervous? Mm. Um, how you feel about your music? You've always been that person. You've never changed with that. But with coming up and doing this, I know there's things that you've learned that you didn't know before. Mm. What have you learned? Um, doing this now in the game that you didn't know before. Don't take the moment for granted. That's real. Don't take the moment for granted, man. I just was telling E, y'all can put this camera on in front of anybody. Don't take the moment for granted. You know what I'm saying? You got to appreciate the moments in this shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Because as you go on and go forward, the moments and the stage is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But you got to appreciate the October interview of Boss Talk One on One to be able to appreciate this interview right here because you see what you've done and the growth in those moments. So just appreciate the moments and 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 really be tapped into that. You know what I'm saying? Because when you look back at the journey, you're gonna be like, damn, it's a hell of a ride. It's a, it's like it's almost like a movie. Like you know what I'm saying? Just when you think the shit get good, it's gonna do some more shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just always just. You know, appreciate the moments. In Big this homie. Show. Yeah, nah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, and that, that catch, I mean, like, I've heard it before, mm. but you made it so catchy where everybody just gonna always keep saying that. And with this stardom that's coming your way, um, I know that you have a lot of females probably been in your DMs. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> and knocking at that door. I don't know that. And, it, and, and if you don't, um, hypothetically speaking, if they are, um, how would somebody like you handle certain situations like that? The same way I always have. Let me That's tell you it. something. This shit ain't going to give me nothing that I ain't already had. It's just going to give me... The only thing that the gang can do for me is give me more of things that I've already had. That's the beauty about Big Homie Show, right? Because most of the time when you're talking to DJs and you're talking to, you know, just different people in the industry, they always hesitant to fuck with somebody because somebody came to them on their hands and knees when they was broke, staying with their mama, you know what I'm saying? Had a little rat, you know what I'm saying, for for an old lady or whatever, you know what I'm saying, saying, please, can you hit me, please, hit me, please, can you hit me, please, and then as soon as they turn you up and you get some money, you turn into a whole different nigga, can't nobody talk to you, can't nobody get you on the phone, you gotta speak to personnel, mm -hmm. call my manager, and all this old Hollywood <laughs> ass shit. This shit just gonna give me more of the shit that I, I, I mean, this is very humble, in a humble way, you know what I'm saying, of saying it, but I mean, like I said, it's it's not going to give me anything that I've never had before. I've been a person that can walk in the club and get the most beautiful woman in the club before. I ain't stayed with my parents since I was 17 years old. So I ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's like I ain't just moving out of my mama's house. In code, the nigga is a homeowner. The nigga got his own business. The nigga been doing, he been popping I mean, already. The nigga, nigga popping. He was popping when I met him. You know what I'm saying? We popping out here. Right. The nigga getting money out here. I and y'all gonna have to respect it because Boss Talk 101 show. Nah, for real, man. man. That's like, hey, <laughs> I mean, that's the, you know, that's the... He yeah. said it. He summed it up. You feel what I'm saying? But nah, I ain't just start getting no jewelry, having no nice cars or designer or no shit like that. So there's you're already meeting what most artists would become. So you got to... That's real. You got to, you know, you, you if you fuck with me now, you're going to fuck with me when everything continues to... When the blessings continue to come for me because I've been blessed. I've been being blessed for since, you know... For a Man. while now, I'm there, used to it. That time I seen you uh, when you was in Atlanta, and you and you and you, and, you, and, you and Faison was in the truck together, and mm -hmm. you spit that rhyme. Mm -hmm. And uh, to up until today, like, did you ever think that it was gonna be just like it is now, or did you did you even see that coming at the time, or we or were you just chilling? I had no really no interest in doing. Music. Cause when I talked to you, you said it. You was like, "Man, I, I, that, that's them." Cause you went to Atlanta. I don't know who you went with mm -hmm. or who you went for. You like my 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 partners. I put them down there. We all kicked it. They were for them. It wasn't even something you was even pursuing. But, but, but think about that though. 
how big of a nigga that is to to fly in to support somebody else. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's big. You do know what I'm saying? But see, it's just see, you wasn't just even a, on the music like that's that. That's the difference. He wasn't into that's it. The difference but in he me. that type of person. That's the difference in me. I'm just as big of a supporter as I am wanting to be supported. That's you know real. what I'm that's saying? So, that's so that, that's you honorable. You get what you give fucking with me. That's hard. You dig what I'm saying? That's hard. So I'm just a big of a supporter as I am looking for support. So the DJs and shit that in the city when they would have their birthday party and they would have their toy drives and their kids were selling cookies and all this shit. I ain't had no records, but I still would support. You know what I'm saying? That's huge. So when I finally did come around and say, yo, check this out, a lot of them didn't even listen to it. See, that's what I was about to ask you um, because I know in reality and life, this happens to so many people. How many, have there been a time where you've been supporting people and then now that you're doing your thing, and you ask for that support, you don't get it. Oh, yeah. That happens. That's how you but deal with it. Still show love. Still show love. And you still show them support. Still show love. Still show them support. The fact, I mean, the best way to kill somebody is, is support them when you know they ain't supporting you. Hey, man, you know what, bro? I appreciate what you're doing for me, my nigga. I, I, man, I, I sure appreciate it. And they know they ain't done shit. It make them feel like <laughs> dog shit. When they know in their heart they ain't done shit for you. Right. And you saying, say, bro, I appreciate what you're doing for me. And I really mean that because you're not doing shit for me. It's pushing me to do even more. So I appreciate what you're doing for me. I really do. Because I'm going to show you in the end and you're going to come back to me telling me all that you're doing for mm -hmm. me later on. Mm -hmm. But you still know in your heart that you ain't, you really initially didn't do shit for me. Until see nobody gives a fuck to everybody gives a fuck. Mm -hmm. Most wow. people, mm -hmm. very few people are going to see can see your dream with you, Man. right? Very few people. You know what I'm saying? So when I tell you, nigga, this time next year, nigga, I'm gonna need motherfucking police escort and security and all type of shit to come in this bitch. You got the. We got to be on the same thought process yeah, to be like, I believe that nigga. Yeah. But most people, they don't believe that shit. I mean that shit, though. It's going to come a point where I ain't going to be able to just sit up in this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I, I believe that. And if and you believe happen. it, you know what I'm saying? You just got to believe, bro. I got a piece That's of paper. That's hard. He said, you got to believe. I got a piece of paper that, nigga, when I wrote everything on that motherfucker, I ain't had shit. I ain't had nothing. It was a everything was an idea that was on that piece of paper. Man, you you you're a special type of guy, man. Like, and and it don't just come from you. People that me and you were knowing, we knew when I started mentioning your name to certain people, they started to praise you. So I know, hey man, this guy did this for me, man. He he looked out for me. You know, these are the things that really reveal and and, and tells your your character. You don't have to speak. People gonna tell around you, like when they see you on my show. Certain people spoke up and said, "Man, you know what? They didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. They were just coming at me about the things that you know you afforded them." And I think that's live. I think that's dope to be Man. an impression on someone's life. It don't cost you nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm a I'm a true believer that you know what I'm saying. Uh, I get blessed. I get a lot of the blessings I receive because God know I'm gonna share them. Man, that's you know what I'm saying. That's big. So, you know, you get blessed abundantly when he know that by blessing you, you're going to be a blessing mm -hmm. to somebody else. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know, I be extending myself, you know what I'm saying, to people. And, and when they don't do it in return, I don't forget it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I still tell you, you know, hey, man, I so sure appreciate what you're doing for me, my nigga. That's hard, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> you, to go over to real life and, and meet up with a little Scrappy and go interview and then come up with that song, man, that's God, man. That's organic, man. Man, from there... I ain't gonna lie, from there, I came back from there, 97.9, got on board. Went to 97.9, I seen you on Super Tight as well, I seen Mom you on, got on rap, rap, rap economics. Rap economics. Uh, I uh, seen you, where else did I see you at? Shit, man. You been going, man, I see, I, I seen you on pictures. Cali posted Cali po nah, yeah, Snoop yeah. posted nah, Snoop, that's the one right there, Snoop, you know let's stop saying? right there for a second. Cause that right there is big for me. I, I seen him do it 
and it messed my head up. Didn't he do it twice? Like, he did it twice. Yeah, like this is crazy. And DJ Khaled too. Khaled DJ Khaled too. did it twice. Nah, Khaled he didn't, didn't do it twice. He did it once. But DJ Khaled did it. One time from DJ Khaled. It's big. It's God big. damn. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, but I just want to talk about Snoop for a second. What he be jamming when he listening to that thing, he man. With it. He rocking that hoe and looking at the camera. You know, like, he got that dance. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> God, man. Like, 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 I'm a big fan of Snoop. You know, I be, I be interviewing a whole No Limit camp. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm inches away from Snoop you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna get the interview you in know one day. Coming out here. when August the 20th I believe August the 20th all right, I'm gonna speak it in the air. I say, Snoop, yeah. right now I'm about to send this to you. Uh, I got show on here, so I already know you've been watching. <laughs> Listen, man, I need you to stop by Boss Talk 101. Uh, matter of fact, he, I can probably, I'll get. Uh, we'll come to your room. No, I, you know who I've been wanting, and it's no joke. I seen him with a South Park shouty. Oh yeah. Listen. I've been, you know how long I've been yeah. trying to, I want to meet this woman, right? <laughs> Snoop went out there and met her. I'm really jealous of the nigga for doing it. <laughs> but he just a, a, a genuine guy, man. And the people he hang around, man, from uh, Anthony and Boswell, man. Uh, Bos told a story about Snoop, man. Who didn't tell a story about Snoop? KL told a story, story about Snoop. You know what I mean? Like, everybody had these stories about Snoop. I just got to put it all together, man. Uh, Silk the Shocker told a story about Snoop. So, man, I got to get him on here, man. And I, I know already, it. man, you, for you to just, like I said, the universe is the one formulate these nah, things. For real. Like Ain't we no don't question. do nothing, Ain't no and, question. And, and 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 to formulate that mm -hmm. to where people are seeing you and respecting your music and and elevating you without just no colleges here. But it wasn't easy, man. Since 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 uh, New Year's when we dropped those mm -hmm. records, I've been going to the club every weekend, three four clubs a night. Wow, every weekend pushing something. Every weekend, ask the DJs; they'll tell you. You always showing up every weekend, three, four clubs a night by myself. Man, I didn't even know that pe that um, guys still even do that because everything Nobody, becomes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, every, everything becomes so um, digital, like social media and stuff. That's where people be pushing. I, it's like I don't even know if people still go to clubs to push. They what about the strip club? That's the difference. That's what's making. That's what I'm saying. Is like, it beneficial though? Yeah. It's always beneficial when I can pick up the phone and call a nigga that done met me versus sending a nigga a message that he gonna open and give a fuck. I got a, a thousand motherfuckers sending me a message talking about they song. Here we go again. You got a thousand motherfuckers sending you a message talking about they song versus me picking up the phone saying, E, I need some motion, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm, I feel like I'm getting a little slow, man. You think you can mm -hmm. get me for an interview? No, for real. You did what I'm saying? <laughs> So, yeah, and that's what everybody, that's what, you know, most people are telling me. they like, what you're doing, nobody does that anymore. I've always said that. I always say, you know, they drifted all the way into the modern day, you know, ways of doing things. I think it'd be more beneficial if you can do both. Do don't both. just Don't just do the old way, but do old and new. Send Come them by. the record, send them the record, but pull up. Exactly. Let them see you. Let them see. Let them look at. Okay, the nigga look like he getting money for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got it on him for real. You know what I'm saying? Like let the people let them see. You know what I'm saying? The art. But because not only at the end that. Of the day, you are the art. So now they get to say, okay, you know, the man had enough respect to come and talk to me and ask me for his support personally mm -hmm. versus just texting me. He said he, he even offered, hey man. What what can I do to earn your support? Right here I am in front of you asking you what it would take to earn your support. You got a campaign you running or you know what I'm saying? Like tell me what I need to do. You know what I'm saying to build a relationship with you, and that's what's gonna last forever. But not only that, when you in these clubs and they're playing your songs or music, people look at the response of the crowd. People look at what everybody else. But that's is gonna doing. take some time. Like I'm telling you, when they first drop your shit, ain't nobody gonna move. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. You got to have a relationship and they got to see you working because why I'm going to keep playing your record if I don't see you out here grinding? Nigga, I don't work for you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They got to see you putting forth the effort for yourself. Because why am I going to help you if you're not helping yourself? Right. It don't make sense. Man, how was it meeting too short, man? You see him on the wall with me right there. Man... I had met Short when I was a kid, actually, in um, New Orleans, 
for uh, Bayou Classic. Of course, he didn't remember it. I was a kid, but you know, I grew up listening. You know what I'm saying to uh, Shout Dogs in the House, bitch. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know, you so, should be getting it while the getting, getting is good. While getting is good. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So you should be when you when when you get to meet people like that, bro. And and they respect you. You dig what I'm saying? They respect you and what you're doing. Even if they might not know your music, they respect your hustle. They respect the grind. You know what I'm saying? Just that alone make you it make you even more encouraged and enthused to keep doing what the fuck you doing. So your name can be in the Raptors with Tails one day. Man, that's you, how I see. That's you. real, you man. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you're an old nigga like me, you just remember the 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 freaky tales when it first came out, and then you turn around and you see him get into it. He rock with Pooh Man, then he get into it with Pooh Man, then he get into it with uh yeah the uh what the five got five on it boys. Yeah, the loonies. The loonies. He you know uh him and all the niggas that were hanging with him, man, from Aunt Banks, man, and all of them. Mm. They, they had a hell of a run, man. That boy with Jive, man. I used to go buy all them damn uh, cassettes. Let me tell you something about the OGs that I love. Again, they don't just fuck with anybody. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mac-10 ain't just answering the phone. You know what I'm saying? Not for anybody. To give you no game to, hey, listen, young nigga, you hard, bro. You know? I think you should, woo but you on the right. Now nah, you got something. You got it. You doing what you need. Like, when you got people that already done reached the mountaintop, you know what I'm saying, and that's willing to turn around and, and say, "Hey, you know what I'm saying? Come on up here with us, nigga. Come on, you 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 in the, you you going the right way? Come on. That's what you need. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro. That shit, and it, it be like that in the city, bro. For me, that's hard. It ain't just niggas other places. You know what I'm saying? What Lucha said about me today, that meant something to me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, bro got bro got now. Yeah. He got nicks. You know what I'm saying? To what he done done. To have relationships with. Man, I got relationships all over the city, man. You know what I'm no, saying? With, with people that are already done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, for real, done. man. Took, you know, the road and just everybody. Shout you know what I'm saying? Every, That's my everybody boy. in the city, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, they fuck with me. And if they, you know what I'm saying? If they, even if they don't know me to say they fuck with me, they ain't got nothing fucked up to say about me. That's yeah. true. You know, it's just like, I mean, I don't know him. I see he doing his thing, but it ain't nobody like, fuck the nigga. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, me and Chief got a song coming out. Y'all do? Yeah. That's hard. That's my boy. You know right what I'm there. saying? I like O'Chief, hey, man. Hey, baby, I think. That nigga listen, cool as hell right now. That's the coolest <laughs> nigga ever. That nigga be laid back. That nigga Chief, that nigga Chief <laughs> called me and say, say, uh, player. I was in the studio, man, and I got something that I think we could put down, and I think it'll be pretty groovy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah. I got to get him back on the show, man. Hey, man, and I just, see, that go back to the the, 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 the story that I told before. Like, I respect it. I understand. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't. I don't get mad, man. I just appreciate the journey, my nigga. Man. And I know they ain't got to fuck with me, so. That's hard. You know, from there, man, I'm. Grinding like a motherfucker, boom. Man, that boy, that, that's crazy, man. Y'all got to, I know it's a banger, too. Man. So do you have another hit? I got a whole bunch of them. No, that, that you felt, that you feel fired up about the same way you did about. I played K-Rock. I sat in the truck and played K-Rock my music. K-Rock said he niggas. You talking about my nigga K-Rock? Bowhead K-Rock? K-Rock say, I'm telling you what Unk say. That's real. Unk say these niggas in trouble. Man. Mm. You talking about another nigga been DJing in these streets for a long mm. time. 30 years. Yeah, I know the nigga he, who, who, put, who used to carry the craze with, man, down in East Texas. He been I'll on my say these niggas in trouble. They think nah for real. But when they hear this other shit, he like, this going to bring them in. But when you go to putting this other shit on, man, you going to put a chokehold on the game, man. So when you going to bring it out? When everybody here nah for real. That's it. That's it. And and uh, you gotta get all this dope. No, I gotta roll. I know, gotta... I understand that, but you know, I, that's one thing I always wonder. Cause I see people doing it. I see old boy Prince doing it right now with bounce. But the thing is that, um, how long do you promote one song before? It's a you... motherfucking hit. If you know you got a hit, 
you keep rolling that motherfucker until it's a hit. Six months, a year? Until it's a, a hit. hit. And you won't put out nothing else till that I one gets to. I ain't putting out shit until this record is a hit. No, nah, for real. I ain't putting out shit. You hear me? Nothing. So you're just going to keep building your catalog. Man, who said? T, I think it was T Grizzly said. And I, I remember watching this interview. I was like, damn, that was a dope-ass point. That nigga said. And to everybody give a fuck about one song, what make you think they going to listen to 10? Just going to put out nine more songs that don't nobody give a fuck about. Make sure everybody want to hear you first and then come with some more music. That's real. What the fuck you going to put out? A, you got a goddamn 20-song tape out and don't nobody want to hear one motherfucking song. Make sure every make sure you got something that everybody want to hear first and then goddamn come out with some more music. So until we know now for real is a hit, but somebody in California don't know that yet. That's we real. know now for real a hit, but motherfuckers in Florida don't know that yet. They may or may not be hip yet. Until everybody know around the world, fuck the United States, until the world know, I ain't dropping shit. Mm. Man. I like it. I love it, actually. I want you to stay on these nigga neck, though, with that now for real. I'm going to bang it out all the and time. From there, That's what we doing. I went, listen, let me tell you. You have merch made up with not for real yet? Got it. It's coming if you ain't got it. Listen. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, that motherfucking t-shirt shit something different. <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers think that shit easy, man. It ain't easy. As soon as a motherfucker see their money, they be like, all right, what my shirt at? Mm-hmm. Like, God damn, yeah. hold on. Like, hold the fuck up. You supposed to have them sitting down yeah, in certain but, core colors and certain core sizes. Man, listen. I be like, look. Your size. What color? I want extra large. Black. All right, cool. Extra large black. Gotcha. Three days later. You know, packs it up. Just uh, remember, I told you I wanted the extra large black. Yeah, make it a medium white. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Say, bro. Uh-uh. That's why you know what you should do. As soon as they tell you, say not that day or the next day. Say, bro. But for me to go back and forth, back and forth to the they can get another one. Then just office. go ahead and buy a white one like, too. Shit, you know what I'm saying? That merch game ain't unless it's hand to hand. That shit is a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Right about it. So, you know, what? who would you like to work with? Because I know you, I mean, I know outside of who you've already worked with, who, who, work with who, would you, who would you strive to work with? Who would want to work anybody with? Anybody that would want to work with? Not anybody. Okay, who <laughs> would you like to work with if you could, you could, if you had a choice to pick? You think Man. you and Snoop can make a dope album, oh, yeah. a dope song together? <laughs> yeah. But let me tell you what's crazy. So, Mark Pitts flew me out to Kelly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, same thing, I played in my music. And uh, he asked me that question. Who you like in the game right now? If you could go on tour with anybody, who would it be? I said, Drake, because of how he can do anything. I like the way he can do sing. He can, you know what I'm saying? He can, he can buy women, buy, you know what I'm saying? Life story, whatever. I like the diversity in his music. I said, little baby, because I just like to hear a young nigga that listen and warn. Most youngsters don't seem like they really like to take too much advice from somebody, you know what I'm saying, a little bit older. And it seems, at least on the outside looking in anyway, that he listened to Coach K and P and he turned into a megastar under their guidance, mm-hmm. which is something that I think we kind of need to get back to. That's for the, the, the elders and the youngsters. We need to get back to set an example to try to help build them up the same way that they need to listen to us because we telling them some shit to help build them up. So I just like that. So I said, little baby. And I said, future, because as of today, he's like our down south Jay-Z. Like, he could go and put on a show for two hours and still not rap all the hits. This was Monday. Sunday, I opened up. That, that was on a Monday, that Sunday, I was on the Future show. You was mm. on the Future show. I seen you on the picture with Future. I seen y'all standing there. What the hell was y'all talking about? I'm nosy as hell. I want to get Future on there too. I just appreciated the opportunity, bro. I right. mean, I I, I kind of make it short and sweet when I know that it wasn't like I was a 
I didn't go on right before him, or you know what I'm saying. I didn't. It ain't like he walked me out like yellow. Took my time coming. You know what I'm saying. S- salute to them boys. <laughs> but it's not like you know what I'm saying. I just appreciate the fact that they gave me an opportunity to be seen by more people. You don't know what that meant to my family. You know what I'm saying. Like at the end of the day, no matter what happened, nigga, how many niggas can say they they they, they got to perform in the American Airlines Center? Mm. That's big. Huge. I know when me and my partner started rapping, we was just doing this shit for fun. We never thought that I was going to be on stage mm-hmm. in the American Airlines Center. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it come like that. And yeah. now you picturing the sky and beyond. When you, that's what I'm saying. You got to appreciate the moment because those moments build your confidence and be like, well, shit. If I can do this, I can yeah, do anything. Yeah, it start, to, it start to build your mind up and, you know, your spirit up to be like, nigga, it ain't nothing, there ain't nothing I can't do. Right. Nigga, I'm right here with arguably... Like I just said, this the Jay Z of the South, and I'm standing right here. In a week, I spoke it, and it happened in less than a week. Mm-hmm. The power of life and death on, is in man. the tone. So in the tone. When I, when I, when when you grinding and when you praying and grinding, bro, none of this shit ain't impossible. Wow. Straight man, up. I, I appreciate you, man. So again, I gotta ask this. So y'all know this. It really, it's just like third man, fourth. He he been on here, but he, for personally, one time he came, gave us the interview. How can people get a hold to show <laughs> if they trying to book him for a show, man, or uh, a feature? Oh, now you want to book me for a show? Book me for a feature? Of course, you can reach out to me all um, across all platforms. This guys give show. Uh. Big Homie Show Booking at Gmail. Uh, you can contact uh, C Dog at C Dog uh, Show Dog. I think it's C Dog Show Dog ENT on Instagram. Or you can contact uh, Pookie from Urban South. It's still the same team. Man, I, I just want to say thank you. And, and you probably gonna think we this. done? No, no, almost. <laughs> I just want to say, I, we, we winding it up, but I just want to say thank you for. For when it was when nothing see people don't want to tell this truth this is a hell of a truth when it was kind of wasn't nothing going on in Dallas really the only ones that I seen making some motion was you and Big X to plug right I'm gonna be real with you when to say that Snoop is playing it and all these people talking about it and it's a buzz mm-hmm. in Dallas mm-hmm. so I want to say thank you for that you wanted the guy that came on the show that didn't lie to me last year. Mm. You know, that did what he said. He was working. And I, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't doing that. I can tell you that. It's a couple of them working. Um, shout out to that boy, old boy Prince. He working. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. like you see, he just, start, you know, because he had, he had had an accident, too. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, for him to come back and now he... he Moving you, I His seen Chinese. I seen some Chinese folks doing that dance, mm-hmm. you know, TikToking it. But to see you fill that gap like that, mm-hmm. nobody would have never seen that coming. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, I agree with you, you know. But I got a bigger, I got an even bigger responsibility because, you know, I'm one of the few people that um, actually, you know, a lot of people they move to new places and they forget about home. Yeah, I'm still carrying Louisiana with me too. Sure is. Sure I ain't is. never, you know, I'm not no new. Nigga, I'm Dallas, nigga, it's just, nah, my nigga. I ain't tried to hide where I'm from, I'm proud. Me and you both, you know these saying? sixes I'm, in the building. I'm proud, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, so. Uh, but love Dallas, you know. Uh, probably got more roots here than some of the, you know, I'm old. So yeah. I done did more stuff than a lot of niggas they ever do here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I, I just, you know, I just, I feel like, um, I got a big responsibility, man, for 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 where I'm from and where I'm at. So that that keep me going, and I keep in mind that I got a lot of people, like I said, that are vested into me with their time, uh, with their resources, and that just keep me keep me going. Wow, you know, I, I mean, what what I'm gonna waste your time, camera time, and whatever y'all could be doing with y'all family. It's Mother's Day weekend, man. You know what I'm saying? So why I'm going to waste y'all time and y'all film and y'all lights and I'm not going to go out here and do what I say I'm going to do. Man, thank you so much, man. You know Your breath saying? of fresh air, man. So. Um, 
man, stand up, man. My boy, homie, big homie show. No, for real. Y'all better check that out, man. So and the I'm video is about to come out. Video and my nigga, Bobo is on that whole super tight. I seen him on there. I seen a little, y'all gave us a teaser. Mm -hmm. No, nah, for real. He mm -hmm. jumps out. I said, look at this nigga, man. I'm hey, supposed man. to be on that thing. But I don't know where I was at. We see. had something. We had a show. We be something. gone, man. But that was during the um, bad weather time too. I think it was raining or or it was really cold or something. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was, was hot and sunny out there. Them like, niggas out there kicking it. Like three weeks ago. Oh no! I was thinking about the one before. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I yeah. About, talking about fumble. Yeah, the one before. Yeah, that was there. He had to move that one. That was there. He had to move that. Had to move that one. Yeah, man. You know, I enjoyed it. It's more to come. One thing about it, man. This, I. Think about what I said. I've been able to accomplish all of this in six months. That's hard. And we're proud of you. We're real proud six of you. Very months. proud of you, six bro. Six more months. It's a wrap. We're real proud. Six more months. Man. We, we kind of like, we done took off. You know what I'm saying? We ain't we ain't quite made it to cruise after two yet, but we climbing. We climbing. We climbing. You man, know what I'm saying? thank you so much. We love you, bro. Man, thank you, man. Thank y'all for having me. It's been me. another great segment. Yeah. A Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.